Today, we're gonna to be talking about 10 profitable nonfiction niches you're gonna to wanna to check out here into 2020, and stay tuned. This is Self-Publishing with Dale, and I'm Dale L. Roberts, best-selling author, self-publishing advocate who wants to show you how to publish books that sell, and I tell you, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite things today in nonfiction. Nonfiction is just, that's, I love fiction books, but to be honest with you, nonfiction is just where my heart is at. So you're gonna find that I'm very passionate about sharing some of this information. Before we do jump into things, I do want to, of course, point out our exclusive sponsors, Coda B. Coda B Author is an ebook authoring software to help you export your books in different formats, including, but not limited to, branded apps. That's right, you can turn your book into a freaking app. It also allows you to add interactive content inside your ebook, such as self-assessment questions, widgets, videos, and more. They do have a free version for you. That's pretty friggin' cool if you don't mind me saying so. Kodobi also helps with other areas in self-publishing, such as hosting your ebook for you and controlling user access. Kodobi also provides custom services in case you need any ebook services done for you, such as illustrations, animations, special interactivity, and so much more. For more details, visit my affiliate link over at dalelinks.com slash Kodobi. That's spelled K-O-T-O-B-E-E. -E. All right, let's get right on into it. I'll tell you, we're going to go ahead and burn through some of this stuff really, really fast-like. And uh, I want to jump into the live re uh, excuse me the live people here and we'll answer some questions and possibly if you stick around to the end we might actually do a live demonstration we'll see how my eyeballs are treating me so let's go ahead and i'm going to switch this on over into the screen share uh just a moment here didn't want you guys to cheat ahead of time uh, i'm going to pull up my notes and all right so let's get on over here into the screen share and start it out with uh first of all um, I'm putting the cart in front of the horse, my apologies. Let's go ahead and explain just what we're gonna be doing, all right? How did I find the profitable niches? Okay, so there's the old school methodology that you can do in which you would go over onto Amazon and you would just troll about with a specific keyword and you would find um, a specific niche and you would find that book and you would ideally want to find a niche that has the Amazon bestsellers list has the top 10 at about below 100,000 as far as the Amazon bestseller rank. I like to see something below 100,000 because that means there's proof of concept. Because at about 100,000 in those, as far as the rank goes, whether it's print book or eBooks, means there's been about one sale per day, okay? So that's proof of concept. I'd like to at least see one sale per day. Um, as my preferred way of doing things, instead of just painstakingly going through all of these specific niches and just spending hours upon hours doing this, what I will do is I'll use my preferred way, which is Publisher Rocket. Now, I've talked about this ad nauseum. You can go ahead and scroll on down into the description down below. There is a link to Publisher Rocket if you wish to go ahead and check, take a look at it. I've done a little bit of the research for you today, uh, but if you do want to find out more details, go to dailylinks.com slash rocket. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and talk about those 10 things. And when I was actually looking up uh, this, these specific niches, the nonfiction ones, I wanted to find something that inside the top 10 of a specific bestseller list, inside a category, inside that niche, that the number one spot was no lower than 10,000, okay? So that means that you're gonna need roughly about a couple of dozen sales per day to be inside 10,000 in the ABSR. Now, is there anything wrong with it going below that? I mean, obviously we'd love to have a book that's say 3,000 or 100 or even lower than that. Number one would be even better. But I'm trying to show you some that aren't so stinking competitive that you just can't get in there. But we also want to make sure that it's below 100,000. So we're going 10,000 to 100,000. And I made sure to fully vet each one of these categories to make sure it was a good fit to fulfill these things. So, all right. You got kind of a peek at the very first one. So let's go over into the screen share and I will break back open the Amazon store. And we're gonna start it out with the very first one. And it is, by the way, there's this is not put in order of importance. This is just fulfilling some of the obligations I said before, 10,000 to 100,000 in the paid store. So very first one is soccer. Uh, soccer is actually listed underneath sports and outdoors for Kindle eBooks. You will see that number one is at about 19,000 in the paid store and number 
10 is at 89,000. If we were to scroll down just a little further, you'll see that it drops significantly once we get to the number 13. So this means that there's definitely a, a, an audience that are willing to consume the content. Now, I don't know that all of them are being categorized properly, but we've talked about categories and how sometimes some get mistakenly put in there and some people purposely try to put it in there to game the system. But we'll, we'll save that for another day or you can watch the previous video where I talked about that. All right, uh, the very next category is outdoor and nature reference. This is actually underneath sports and outdoors as well. Uh, this one's pretty interesting in that you see the very first one, The Lost Art of Reading Nature's Signs. If this is your book, kudos to you. 26,000 in the paid store. We scroll down to number 10. It's right at that border, at the 100,000 mark. So this might, you know, gain some more sales. It might lose a little bit of sales. Uh, either way, I'm pretty happy with this. There's gonna be some niches I'm gonna share with you today that are like on that borderline. This one, I don't consider it borderline. I'd be willing to go ahead and give this one a shot. And I'm just looking right off. And I'm gonna tell you this, that some of these covers are nailing it, nailing it. Mm, some of these aren't quite doing it. So I feel like if you can go in there with something with a good cover, a good concept, and an audience there, you could probably topple quite a few of these. All right, let's go into number three. Number three, this one is Exploration and Discovery, which is underneath children's eBooks and Kindle eBooks. By the way, to make things easy, if you're coming, if you're going along and you're watching this video, I want you to pay attention to the left-hand side. This is what is called a browse path. So anytime that, for instance, if you want to um, use a specific browse path that I'm sharing with you, let's say you see one, you're like, oh, I can get inside that one, that'd be perfect. I'd be able to get in the top 10, this is awesome. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is, write down each one of those specific words there in a, in a string of words. So you're gonna put, say for instance, and uh, let's go back over to the screen share, you'll say Kindle eBooks, children's eBooks, exploration to discovery. And I typically put like a, a dash between each one of these. I go into my KDP dashboard, scroll down to the bottom, select contact us, and then when you go in there, just use the A center of your book and say, um, I would like to enter this into this specific browse path. They know what browse paths are. Browse paths are essentially categories. So when you give them that browse path, that's great. I would not recommend you send them exploration and discovery because there might be multiple categories like this. So that's why you want the browse path. If that's new to you, please put inside the comments, hashtag new to me, if that's something that's brand new to you. All right, let's go ahead and hit reset on this one. We're gonna look at this one again here, exploration and discovery. You can see the lucky monkey is at the very top at 22,000 and at number 10 is 92,000. Let's scroll down just a little further and we would see that it starts to kind of drop off right about number 12. So it's not terrible. Uh, you can see that there's definitely room for growth in here. Uh, all right, number four. Let's get on over here to Cooking cheese and dairy. I think we kind of tapped on this on previous episodes, but I wasn't 100% certain. This one actually is categorized underneath Kindle eBooks, cookbooks, food and wine, and cheese and dairy. And you'll notice right away, number one has 11,000. Woo, that's right there, right at that 10,000 mark. Not terrible. I think you got it in you. If you can just get yourself a good following and enough hype built up behind this, maybe a couple newsletter swaps that you work with other people inside your niche, they would promote your book, you would promote theirs, and the rising tide raises all boats. So um, I definitely um, would say um, this is something worth looking into. You can see 11,000 and number one, and and 99,000 at number 10. And there's a bit of a drop off when we come down here to number 11. But I don't think it's imp completely impossible. And especially if you're using other browse paths that are similar to this one. All right, moving forward here to number five. A uh, big shout out to my Uncle Mike. Uh, he's actually a speech therapist and this is actually a category here for hi him. This is for audiology and speech pathology. This actually falls underneath Kindle eBooks, medical eBooks, audiology and speech pathology. So the very first book is at 60,000. Now I'm gonna say this, if you've got expertise as a speech therapist or a speech pathologist, this might be for you. Now I'm gonna tell you, 60,000 in the paid Kindle store is not going to pay the bills, all right? It's just enough to kind of get your foot in the door. 
But here is where I was saying that this is an iffy category. It's iffy, but worth a shot. So if you're someone like, say for instance, my uncle, who has you know plenty of experience in this area, then there's a good chance you can dominate this specific category with really not too much work. Because you see, it drops off at the number eight, and even more at nine and 10. I'm again kind of leery when it comes to going into a specific browse path that doesn't have that proof of concept beyond the top 10, but I'm not completely against it. It's certainly worth looking into. Alrighty, very next category. Let's go on over to number six. This one's an interesting one. This actually goes underneath cookbooks, food and wine, regional and international, European, and then it goes to English, Scottish, and Welsh. Wow, look at that browse path. Let's just zoom in on this. You go boom, 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 and boom. Oh my gosh, that's a deep browse path right there. I'm gonna go ahead and reset this so I can see. The number one spot is held by 17,000. If we scroll down to number 10, it's 98,000. You see Gordon Ramsay, one of my favorite people on television. Uh, we scroll down even further, you see there's a significant drop, drop off as soon as we go to number 11 and beyond. Um, alrighty, next category is basketball coaching. All right, so there's kind of a theme right now that sports is kind of an untapped area, but still very profitable, definitely viable. So we're looking at basketball coaching. It drops down below sports and outdoors. So we scroll down, number one is at 18,000, and that's roughly 18,000. You're looking at about maybe a dozen purchases per day. Um, you know, not a whole lot, but it's a significant amount. And then we start to drop off right at number eight to nine and 10. So again, all right, ready for the dad joke, which I'm not a dad, so I guess it's an uncle joke. This is iffy, but again, worth a three point shot, huh? Huh? Don't unsubscribe, please, please. It, it, I'm sorry, it was, it was bad. I'm, I, I'll go stand in the corner after we're done with this broadcast. Um, all righty. Next one is going to be number eight, uh, children's U.S. state and local history books. Now, this is a deeper browse path, again, kind of like the one we had previously mentioned, children's ebooks, history, United States, and state and local. You see how it kind of just drops down and tapers down? Okay, something definitely look forward, uh, look into. You may want to take a look at some of the other browse paths too, and maybe untapped. All right, so number one is 15,000, and if we scroll down a little further to number 10, it's at 97,000. So we're still staying between that top 10,000 to 100,000. We see a bit of a drop off when we go to number 11 and beyond. I want to point out something really fast brands. Brands are dominating it, and you see right now, that there is this one to where there's this similar cover that's popping up on each one of these. So chances are very likely this is a publishing company or a small publishing house that is really tapping into this. So it's definitely something worth considering when you think about this. Wow, Ohio, you would think that would be doing better, but I guess not. Alrighty, let's move forward to number nine. Uh, this one pretty interesting and I, I found it interesting in the browse path but the books that were inside it if we look a little closer this is a deep browse path Kindle ebooks craft hobbies and home gardening and horticulture by climate and we could have gone even deeper to desert temperature or temperate or tropical so this one actually is a little bit more of a broader browse path so if we went a little deeper we probably would lose a little bit of that foothold but you can see at this broader browse path that it looks okay number one is at thirty thousand, and number 10 is right one hundred ten thousand. this is that borderline thing again that i was kind of saying uh, i noticed right away hydroponics hydroponics aquaponics hydroponics so it's super clear that hydroponics is something that goes underneath climate whether it's appropriate there or not remains to be seen. One thing I do notice right now is a couple of these book covers are sketchy at best. And if this is one of your book covers, I apologize. Please take this with the best of intentions here when I say this. This is not a good cover. And if we scroll down, this is definitely not a good cover. If you want your products to be bought, you got to invest in a good book cover. I mean, it's just, 
people judge books by their covers. And if you're just kind of just slapping on, for instance, this last one at number 10, you're putting on a cover that's done through KDP's cover creator. There's a good reason why you're 110,000 inside the paid Kindle store. You can definitely improve that if you would just take just a little bit of time to, you know, really get things kind of dialed in. Uh, just really quick, I want to bring to your attention, um, if I can just bring this up here. Uh, no, I can't bring it to your attention, apparently. Ah, here we go. I want to let you know that I am here every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Universal Time Coordinated minus 5 at dailylinks.com slash live where I do live videos just like this and I want to see you there and of course see you as well over at twitch.tv slash self publish every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can actually see me do the full podcast there. Subscribe with your Amazon Prime membership. That's absolutely free. You can actually see how I how to do it with your Amazon Prime if you go visit dailylinks.com slash Twitch Prime. All the support is definitely appreciated. If you've enjoyed so some of this content so far, please smash that thumbs up button for me. It really does make a huge difference. Let's go back over into that screen share. Here we go. Number 10. Now, this one's pretty interesting. Those of you that are um, big fans of racing and cars, this is the category for you. And this one actually, it's if I was a person who was into this sport, I probably would definitely go into it. Kindle eBooks, sports and outdoors, miscellaneous, and then it goes down to motorsports. Very interesting. And actually, we see the number one book is at 13,000. And we scroll on down here, and the number 10 book is below 100,000 and 94,000. We scroll down just a little further, and you see the drop off doesn't quite happen until number 14 to number 15. So, something definitely worth considering. We can see some of these covers are passable at best. Some of them are good, like the very number one, number two looks great, number three looks awesome. But uh, there, there could probably be some room for improvement if they would actually really tweak these covers. So that was the 10 nonfiction niches I was gonna share today. If you enjoyed it, and if some of these were new to you, again, put hashtag new to me inside the comments. I always love hearing from each and every single one of you. Broadcast, did you catch any of the other videos where I shared some of the mega hot niches some of the short reads niches, some with no competition. I actually got a full playlist and I'm gonna answer that right here and it's also inside the description. So if you don't see it on the screen, you can go down description. I will see you very next week. Thanks everybody.